Hi there, Ricardo here with DiverseSolutions.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you why you need an email autoresponder and how to create one using the Diverse Solutions CRM which is now offered free to anybody who purchases DS Search Agent Pro or full-fledged Mapping IDX. So first things first, what an email autoresponder is, otherwise known as a drip campaign, it's simply a sequence of follow-up emails that are going to get to delivered to your subscribers, in this case your IDX registrants, on whatever schedule that you decide. It's an opportunity for you to connect with your prospects uh, after they've subscribed or, or in other words registered to your IDX system um, since they've already given you their attention. So the the best part of creating a drip campaign is that, is that it's always working. When somebody registers to your IDX there's two things that happen. First, they get a welcome email that essentially welcomes them to your to the new IDX or thanks them for creating an account. And then the next step would be for you to use DS Agent Reach, our email marketing system, to draft that series of follow-up emails. So the first thing you want to do once you log into your control panel, this is where you'll have access to all of the Diverse Solutions products. You'll be given access to DS Search Agent, your mapping IDX, where you can customize uh, the interface, create custom links, and do a variety of different things. Here, you'll have a section that says DS Agent Reach, where you can create and organize your contact groups, uh, but also where you'll create your marketing emails and then set up any campaigns, like a follow-up campaign, for anybody that registers to your IDX. So the first thing we want to do is hover over IDX products, click on Options, and from here, we're going to hover over to the Emails tab. When you click on the Emails tab, this is where you can control the content that goes out when somebody registers or when somebody initially registers to your IDX. See here where it says Welcome Email Body? Well, there's an automatic message that goes out, and the default message says, Welcome to DS Search Agent. We hope that you find the home of your dreams. What I would do, using the editor below, where it's like a simple standard Word document, is type in your own custom welcome message, something that's along the lines of uh, thank you for registering to your new uh, Phoenix area home search. If you have any questions on how to use uh, our map system, uh, how to save searches, or if you have questions on any of the properties, please don't hesitate to contact one of our agents at the following number. Um, also, you might hear from one of our agents soon. It's not a hard sell in any way. Just following up with you to see if you have any questions on any properties to help you further along your home search. So something short, casual, that welcomes them to have for having created an account, reinstates the fact that you're there to help them answer any questions on any listings or to gain further clarity or familiarity with your website. Then down below there's an additional section when somebody registers to get listing updates on a specific search that they might have saved. They'll get a list of uh, property listings for any new properties that hit the market but above that set of properties you can include your own uh, copy so what, that is to say that you can include your own message, a, a little custom message, something along the lines of, hey there, here are your listings for today. If you have any questions on any specific properties, uh, please don't hesitate to contact one of our agents at the following number or hit reply to this email. So something short, simple, and sweet. Now, as far as building your drip campaign, for it, this works in two steps or two processes really. The first process is to, or the first step is to create a series of marketing emails. So you'll do that by hovering over DS Agent Reach and clicking on marketing emails. Here you'll start to construct however many emails you want to include in your email marketing sequence. So as an example, the saved emails that I have are follow up email number one, follow up email number two, and follow up email number three. I want to create a, let's say, a five or seven step email marketing sequence uh, for that someone will start to receive after they've registered to my IDX. So what I'll do is I'll click on Start Marketing Email Creation on the right hand side. Here we have a variety of pre-written templates, seller's tips, moving tips, buyer's tips, so on and so forth. You can use either of the evergreen templates that we've gone ahead and provided or you can click on the custom option down below. Click on create marketing email from this category. It'll take you to a template selector. Simply going to select one of the default templates there. And then 
I'd finally get to the section where I can customize the subject line of my email. The shorter the subject line, the better. Uh, it's okay to use um, make bold statements as something to pique the recipient's curiosity to get them to want to open the email. It's an example here, six pricing mistakes and how to avoid them. If I'm interested in selling my property for top dollar, this definitely gets my attention. You know, how can I properly price my home for sale? For the card title, you'll want to set something. This is more for your own internal filing purposes. So here, I'm going to go ahead and title this one follow-up email number four, since I already have numbers one, two, and three. Down below, I'll click on edit this marketing email on the bottom right-hand side, and it'll generate a pop-up window. Looks like this. This, again, looks like a standard uh, word editor you'll be able to edit the content of your email simply by typing in this section. You can remove the header templates simply by putting your cursor to the right of the image hitting the backspace button. Same thing for the footer image down below. Put your cursor to the right of the image, hit the backspace button. And you can customize whatever text you want to go ahead and include as part of that uh, email marketing message. It's effective if you write an article that then links back to a full article or write a introductory piece that then links back to the full article on your website so that you are directing that traffic back to your site. You'll click on save down on the lower right hand side once you're done editing the content of that email and then you'll click on save and quit down uh, just below the edit section. That'll save the marketing email as you can see down here below into the section where the rest of your marketing emails are stored. So that's the first step in creating your sort of drip campaign or that follow-up email sequence that's going to be sent out anytime somebody registers for your IDX. What you want to do after you've created your series of marketing emails is hover over DS Agent Reach and click on Campaigns. This is where you'll start to create the, the sequence or schedule the sequence to go out over X number of days. On the right hand side you'll click on create a custom campaign and that'll take you to a section where it'll display all of your marketing emails. What you'll do is you'll select the marketing emails that you want to include in your follow-up sequence. Once you've selected the emails that you want to include in your follow-up sequence you'll click continue to schedule and that'll take you to the final page where you can then use the flexible schedule to determine the number of days that you want these emails to go out after the person has registered for your IDX. So here, for example, I want my person registers to my IDX, then I want this follow-up email to go out one day after they've registered, I want my second follow-up email to go out four days after they registered, I want my third follow-up email to go out ten days after they registered, and then I want my fourth follow-up email to go out 14 days after they've registered. So what I've effectively done is scheduled a series of, in this case, four emails to go up within a, to go out within a 30-day period after a person has initially registered on my site. I can extend that sequence over a greater period of time simply by adjusting the numbers uh, here using the flexible schedule. Once you've determined the schedule that's that's efficient for you or that you deem appropriate, you'll click on continue to complete campaign. You'll title your campaign something like new IDX registrations or follow-up for new IDX registrations, something that's uh, the campaign title isn't something that the recipient is going to see, that's more for your sort of internal filing purposes. And then you want to leave the campaign end date blank because you want this campaign to be sent out on a recurring basis uh, since the person has registered to your site. So you'll leave this field blank and then down below you'll simply select the group that holds any of your new IDX registrations. So if I look here on the right, it says IDX registrations. That's the group that contacts go into when they register for my IDX. I'll go ahead and select that group click on save and start campaign and voila you've just created a new four-step follow-up sequence using DS Agent Reach, our email marketing program that is now a free add-on to your DS Search Agent Pro account. 
Hope if you have any questions, hop on over to diversesolutions.com or email sales at diversesolutions.com. And thanks again for watching another Diverse Solutions tutorial.